Welcome back to the 2013 North American International Auto Show. I'm Jason Residlo reporting for AmericaJR.com. Now we're here at the Via Motor Display and I'm being joined by David West, Chief Marketing Officer for Via Motors. So please start off by giving me some highlights of this truck. Well you see behind me a world first. This is a fully electrified uh, monster truck you might say. It's 800 horsepower electric. It drives like a Chevy Volt but more like a Chevy Volt on steroids. Uh, it's four-wheel drive, and the good news is electric motors have a lot more torque and probably a lot better match for vehicles than a gas combustion engine. Full torque at one RPM, very stingy with the fuel. Uh, a big truck like this is actually cleaner than a Prius running on electricity. Could you talk about the engine and the type of battery? Sure. Yeah, what we do is we, in this one, we leave the stock V8 engine in it, but instead of connecting to the drive shaft, push the car, we replace that and connect it to an electric generator. So now, if we run out of batteries, the software automatically turns on the engine to push the generator to refill our batteries continuously as we drive electrically. Some would say we're an electric around town and hybrid on the highway. So what's the driving range like here? Well, unlimited, of course, like a hybrid. You go to the gas station and keep going. But it's got 40 mile range on batteries if you're driving lightly. If you're stomping on it with 800 horsepower, you're gonna cut that down just like you would in any other truck. But it's very stingy. A truck like this, you could probably save yourself $400 a month on gasoline because you're now buying electricity instead. Most people are probably wondering, what's the charging time like on a vehicle like this? Well, if you plugged it into a regular outlet in your garage, it'd be overnight. But if you plugged it into the dryer outlet, it would be in about three hours. So what a lot of people do is they just put a 220 outlet in their garage and charge. Most of these chargers you see back there, these commercial chargers, most of those out there are at 220. So you can charge it fairly quickly. That's good. And we mentioned all that stuff. So what's the interior, exterior features? Wow, here's, a, here's a, some really fun news. We integrate the iPad mini into the dash. Wow. Now your car is connected to the internet. That means a lot. Not only is it convenient to have it there, and it's removable, you can take it out to keep it secure, but you can also use some of that computing power to optimize your fuel efficiency. We have software in it called Smart Drive. And what Smart Drive does is that it watches you drive and, and it helps you um, mitigate your uh, how to manage your battery power a little bit better. A lot of cool stuff. Not to mention the fact that you get to play Pandora and maybe commercial free internet radio in your car for the first time. Wow. So can you talk about where this is built and about how many? Absolutely. This car is built right here in Auburn Hills, Michigan. Um, this is a, a, the first of its kind, so this is a concept vehicle. Um, we hope, if all goes well, maybe something like this could come to market fairly soon. Our company makes other vehicles that are in production right now. The little brother of this, which is in, in commercial um, production this year, is, a, is, a, is an electric version of a Silverado by GM. So we get a Silverado from GM, we convert the powertrain to electric powertrain using our technology, and we boost its fuel economy to about 100 miles per gallon overall. And one of the neat things we have is that we have uh, what we call power export. We have outlets on the vehicle for electricity to do the, to do the work, to tap into the batteries of the generator. So you can get 15 kilowatts, 220 amp, or 220 volts at 30 amps, right on the back of the truck. So you could charge your, well, you could run your house off your truck, batteries or generator, if you had an emergency, or run power tools. Yeah. So what would be the pricing on something like this? Well, this one's not released. This is a you know, hand-built custom, not in production yet, so we don't have production pricing. However, on the, on the standard pickup, like the Silverado class vehicle, yeah. you're going to add about $300 a month to your, to your payment. But you're going to save about $400 a month in gas. So you're actually ahead about 100, bu 100 bucks a month to go electric. So in order for someone to go electric, <laughs> could they get it from the Chevy dealer or the Ford, or do they have to go through Via? <clears throat> well, this is an in-factory build, so you, we don't have a kit. So you would come to Via, we would buy the vehicle new, upfit it, and sell it new to the customer. Any other final comments? Sure. Right now, unfortunately, um, all, all commercial sales have been uh, saturated by the fleets. But we are taking reservations for consumer orders that we would deliver next year. And where would they go for that? They go to our website, www.viamotors.com. That's V-I-A-Motors.com. All right. Thanks so much for joining me Thank today. Thank you. Great visit. Thanks.